Hey, 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 survivors. Welcome to VLFR Gaming. Today, we meet for a little video. You see behind me, I put the live video. We are here for the new activity, Survival Desert. They gave us the gameplay of the Path of Water. What is going to be different? You have two teams like the Path of Water. You have the same map. So they changed the design a little, but it remains the same. You have towers with speed boosts, attack boosts, and healing boosts. You have main buildings that give you points every minute. The same principle is for the normal path of water except this time you are not 5 against 5. You are 4 humans against 1 monster. But the monster is not IA. The monster is a player. There is one player who will be alone against 4 players who will play the role of humans. How will the game go? The monster has 3 march and the humans have 2 march. So the humans have 8 march against 3 march for the monster. However, the monster has many more advantages. What just happened behind me was a game as a human is quite simple. How to score points as a human? You have to take the buildings. The towers do not give you points. The buildings give you points. Each building 30 points per second. You have 4 or 5 buildings, but be careful how the monster scores points. It scores points by killing you. So the activity is nice. The concept is nice. It's cool. But there is something wrong. It is way too easy for the monster to win. You must not go against the monster. You will give him points and lose your building. In fact, this survival desert activity will resemble the game of cat and mouse. Actually, what you see here is me playing the role of the monster. And actually, all I do is chase them and take their buildings. Those that are blue will become red. The buildings that are red are blue for them. You know the principle of path of water. All the buildings that are red I will take. I will turn them blue. And as soon as they go to take another, I will chase them, and they did not give me points will flee. So I will take their building. They will not have a building, and they will not score points. I will score points because I will kill them little by little. You already see the score at the top. We just started the game three minutes ago. They are only at 133 points, and I'm at 414. It is way too easy for the monster to win, especially since we are against a team of friends. That means it is not a random team. If you end up with randoms with no communication and no organization, it is going to be really complicated to win. The monster has boosts. You see them behind me. The boosts that are there allow you to see where the players are because it is really the game of cat and mouse. You see the buildings that are red or blue, but you don't know if there are players inside. So those boosts behind me allow you to see the players in the buildings and see where the moves are. You see it is really the game of cat and mouse. You see it right now. I'm chasing him just to get his building. He knows he will give me points if I kill him, so he leaves. He leaves me the blue building. The concept is nice. The activity is really cool. But something is missing. I couldn't tell you what. But I think on the real server, it is not going to be cool. About skill when you are a human. I think the bomb is the only skill that would be interesting. A full bomb team and you send repeated bombs on the monster to get rid of it. It's the only way to get rid of it without giving it points. Because obviously the monster is stronger. So if you go to defend a building, you will lose. Sometimes I kill 3 or 4 human march if I have the attack boost. It's really complicated to kill the monster. The activity is really cool. The concept is really cool. But something is missing for it to work. We'll see if it comes out on the real server. Here we are really only in the development phase. They just gave it to us on the test server. We'll see what it looks like later, but anyway, here is the first little gameplay. I hope you liked it. I wish you an excellent evening and a good day. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if you don't want me to wish you an excellent evening. If you don't want, I come to burn you. Sorry, I'm tired. The day has been long. Ciao, ciao, survivors.